Yeah, Braxton, what um, – obviously – the theme the last couple of weeks has just been the offense and, and the slow starts. And I know you guys have addressed that to try to snap the team out of that funk. What do you think causes that, the slow starts, not being able to score in the first quarter? Uh, you know, I don't think there's one point source, honestly. Um, I, I think it's we've just we, we started slow because we haven't executed. And, you know, once we kind of get those out of the way and get it together, obviously, especially in the last few weeks, we've we've shown kind of what we can do and, you know, kind of the, the runs that we can go on. So it, it really comes down to execution. But, um, you know, other than that, there's, there, there's nothing else that's that's going on. Braxton, it seems that, um, you know, obviously the offense gets better in the second half um, based off of all the stats and the film, yada, yada. But it seems that you guys do a really well in 11 personnel from a passing standpoint. What's the biggest difference between you guys running 12 and you guys, when you guys get 11, the offense is starting to flow from a passing standpoint. Uh, I mean, as receivers, we'd love to hear that. Uh, you know, we would we would put them all out there if we could. Uh, and I, I, I don't I don't know if there's any difference in our offense. You know, I, I guess there are stats that show that, like you said. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's a difference. We, we go out there and we we execute to the best of our ability, uh, no matter what personnel we're in. How confident are you just going back to my earlier question on the first quarter struggles? We talked to Sala a little bit earlier today and how he's going to implement some changes, you know, on the schedule and whatnot to try to get this thing fixed. You know, what do you think is going to happen? Um, I mean, have you noticed any changes already and how do you think it'll play out this week? Uh, no, I mean, we, we went through it as a team, um, you know, a couple of things that are going to change and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're going to be what we're told and we're going to go and play whenever that is, uh, whether it's practice, uh, whether it's a walkthrough and whether it's the game. And obviously, um, you know, we're we're going to figure it out as a team and whatever we have to do, we're going to do. But, you know, I, I don't see it with this group being a being a long term thing. I think we're going to figure it out here shortly. Braxton, how's it been um, in the receivers room? You guys have a, a lot of guys all vying for playing time now. You know, Jameson came back. That cut into your playing time a little bit. We've talked about Denzel a lot amongst us and his playing time. How has it been, though, you guys all kind of vying for time in that room? I mean, honestly, that's that's a great problem to have at the end of the day. Um, that, that means we got a lot of guys who can play football at a really high level. And, you know, this is one of the closest groups I've ever been around in a wide receiver room, um, you know, in my years of football, not necessarily just in the NFL. Uh, so, you know, in, in house, in our room, it, we have a great relationship. And, you know, we obviously we, we help each other any moment that we can. Uh, we ask each other's questions. We pick things from each other's game um, to try to implement in our own. And at the end of the day, we we don't really care what is going on in the media, what's being said. Uh, we care about the guys in our room and, you know, we've, we've done a great job and, you know, really keeping that noise out. Braxton, do these games against the Patriots mean any more to you considering that's kind of where you started your career? Um, you know, I know a little bit more people on the team. Uh, you know, I know the training staff, uh, a good amount of the coaches. And so, you know, maybe that's a little bit familiar, but other than that, it's a football game. Braxton, what are the things you've seen uh, in these first month and change with Zach Wilson and, and how he's developed? What are some specific things that you're seeing that he's just gotten better at? You know, honestly, it's it's a lot of things across the board. You can just tell how how much more comfortable he is, that he has these, you know, kind of five games under his belt um, and, you know, the preseason ones as well. So however many that is. And, you know, there's definitely a comfort thing. There's a huge leadership thing. And what we know is, I mean, one of the things that I, I loved about him from the very start is his competitiveness. Um, you know, I, I know he's going to put everything he can into every week to come out with a W. And, you know, when you see that day in and day out, no matter what else is going on, that's the guy you want to play for. Have you been at all surprised uh, at kind of how, how unflappable he's been for as young as he is and, he seems to take things very much in stride. You know, the disappointments, obviously the losing so far and, you know, and, and even some of the high, you know, few highs you guys have had. Yeah, no, absolutely. And he's, he's as, he's as even cute as they come. And, you know, you, you respect that, uh, you know, more than anything, especially being, being in this 
in this market. Um, whereas, you know, obviously for anybody, it's a tough market to be, but for a quarterback and then a rookie quarterback at that, uh, you know, you, you can kind of only imagine uh, the things that go through his head or come across his desk and all these things. And, you know, you never see a difference in them, whether it's, you know, after the Tennessee game or after the Atlanta game or after the first New England game, whichever it is, you don't see a difference in them. Um, he really has uh, taken everything in stride. And again, that's that's some something body you want to play for. And we're all behind them. And uh, we're just looking to get back out there. What were those conversations like this week in an attempt to kind of fix some of these slow starts you've gotten off to as a team? Um, you know, th those those were said, uh, you know, kind of behind closed doors to the team. So, you know, maybe if coach wants to address that, he can. But I, I don't think I'm the one to divulge that. When it comes to the run game, I guess, what, what is it going to take to get that element of the offense going? Is there anything that, that you guys specifically as receivers have addressed or, or just as a group uh, throughout the bye week? No, I mean, one, one thing about offense in general and especially a run game is it really does take all 11. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just a bunch of one-on-one -on -one battles. And then, you know, of course, I guess the offensive line goes two-on-one -on -one sometimes. But, you know, we, we got to win our one-on-ones. We got to know where to be and we got to make sure we're there. And, you know, a lot of times in the run game, it's, it's a lot of effort, especially from the wide receiver standpoint, um, you know, going in, digging out those safeties, running off if we need to, you know, strain and sustain and block. So there hasn't been one thing that we've addressed. It's just, you know, we, we got to give them all just like, uh, you know, they give their all in pass pro. Uh, 